Welcome to the Black Lion Podcast. We are your host, Lex and Dom. And today we have a special guest. Guest, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Michael Jones. Nice to meet you. And can you tell the audience what you do and what kind of business you have? Um, I have a logistic business. I deliver freight all over the U.S. in a Sprinter van. Uh, this year, I went to 37 states, and last year, it was 43 states. And no, exactly. I know you say you use um, vans and stuff and trucks, mm-hmm. but what exactly is the um, supplies that you supplying um i've delivered all sorts of things um the most craziest thing i delivered was a casket um a family needed a like a customized casket delivered for a funeral so i drove six hours to make it to the funeral service on time and then i've delivered masks like when covid was high I delivered masks to um, a lot of different warehouses. I've delivered Tesla solar panels. I deliver a lot, being in Texas, West Texas, I deliver a lot of oil field equipment. Um, I've delivered airplane tires, um, spaceship (laughs) equipment. Like I've delivered a lot of different things. Like I never know what I'm going to get or what I'm going to deliver until I arrive to pick it up. Oh, okay. So mm-hmm. this is your business, correct? Mm-hmm, yes, this is my business. Yeah. So you have employees also? I do not have employees. I am in my own, <laughs> I'm the boss and the employee right now. Um, I did try to go with the employee route, but that didn't work out for me. Um, I feel like nobody's going to work as hard as I do. But I really do need to hire someone else to manage my business. That way I can focus on other businesses that I have. Because when you say you you don't know what you um, deliver, I I take it like you would need help loading the stuff on your vans and trucks and stuff. Um, Yes. Well, that's the thing is all I do is drive. I don't have to touch or do anything but pick up and deliver it. Um, Because when I get there, most of the equipment is heavy, so it does require a forklift. So the the warehouse, wherever I pick it up from, they're the ones that's in charge of loading it onto the van. And then sometimes all I have to do is just strap it down if it's something that needs to be secured in the van and then deliver it. Then once I get there, they take it off with the forklift. So I don't have to touch the freight at all or the equipment at all. That's good. Well, that's, that's not bad though. Yeah, it's not bad. The only thing is like bad, like the bad part about it is just driving. That's the yeah. hardest part about it. And with these companies you have on um, contracts, correct? The cup the cup the people you deliver for, you have contracts with them, correct? I think your video is frozen. But I I was trying to ask you um, you get contract for all the um, companies you deliver for, correct? Yes, that is correct. That's good. So, so how is the contract set up between your company and their companies? Um. Well, right now I work with I work with dispatchers, um, because it's less paperwork. So how it works is the dispatcher 
is kind of like the middleman for me. They will connect with brokers or brokers will reach out to them and ask, tell them, okay, we have a load going from Texas to Pennsylvania. Like, can you find, could you have a driver? Do you know someone that can do it? So then the dispatcher will reach out to me and will tell me, you know, that they have the load going from Texas to Pennsylvania. Can I do it? And if so, for how much? And then I set my rate on it. And then if it's a good rate or whatever, um, then I'll get the load. That's decent. How do it feel to be your own boss? Uh, it feels good. I, I really like it. I really do. Because working for somebody for so long, it feels good to set your own schedule, your own hours. And I feel that I work a lot harder because it's mine. Yeah. And you can structure it how you want to structure it. Yeah. Um, when did you start your business? I started my business in March of last year. March of 21. Oh, you? That's, that's good. Um, and what was your what was your reasons for starting this kind of business? Um, really, my uh, friend is actually the one that put me on to the business. Um, um, friend is the one that put me on to the business. Um, because he was already doing it, and I had been working at my job for five years, and I hated it. And he got tired of hearing me complain. Like every day, I would complain about going to work, and then he was like, "Why don't you just do this?" And I'm like, "I can't do that." <laughs> I was scared. I was scared to quit my job. And he was like, "Why are you?" To quit your job like they don't care about you well i guess they do my supervisor loves me <laughs> you know like yes they do like i don't i was so scared to put in my two weeks notice and i put in my two weeks notice on a friday afternoon just because i was so scared and i wanted to let, let it blow over the weekend by that monday they had like my exit interview they had everything set up for me to leave i'm like really after giving y'all five years of my life like y'all just boot me out the door so quick and easy and so I was like well let me just go ahead and start doing this so I did it and been doing it ever since and I love it because I get to travel because I've never before this I had only been to like maybe two states outside of Texas so being able to travel to 37 states and 43 states, like it's really definitely a blessing for me. That's great. Yeah. So, your family, when you started your business, did they support you? Mm. I, that's a good question. I don't know. Like, not really because they didn't understand it like you know like I said I had been at my job for five years so I guess I was content and comfortable so you know quitting my job that's you know that's paying the bill they're like mm. they're kind of you know talking and saying things but I guess now they're like you know they're now they're saying okay well I'm proud of you because now they see some people that haven't broken the well, you the first person to break the um, generational curse. That's all. Yeah, that's really what it was. Yeah, to take that leap of faith. But they they know that these um all the corporate owners don't care about you for real for real. They ready to hire the next person. They got to pay less. Exactly. Exactly. And I had to, I've just, like, I'm just now learning all that. Like me quitting my job. I'm like, wow. And then it was also so crazy is because, um, another reason that pushed me to quit is because every year, you know, we have review and we get a, a raise. So 
I feel like this was my first raise that I was going to get. I think after I had got my degree and after um, I had gotten all these like awards and like little promotions. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this raise should be really, you know, I should get a pretty good raise. I got like a, how much was it? I think it was a 55 cent raise like in a year's time. And I wasn't gonna get another raise until the following year. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and take this leap of faith. And I'm glad I did it because yeah, they don't care about you. You are so right about that. Yep. Change your life forever. Yeah, it is. But then also being a business owner, it's not as easy. It's not easy either. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like this year, I was kind of like a little discouraged with my business too, but it's still better than like working, you know, being told what to do and being on somebody else's time. Yeah. It gets like that. The boss, they, they could talk to you each and every way they want to. Mm -hmm. If you was to give advice to your friends or family, what would you tell them if they wanted to start their own business? I would say do it. I take that leap of faith and do it. Yeah. What three things you would uh, change about about when about when you start started your business since you've been through some ups and downs in your business? What would you change? Three things you would change. Um. One, I would say funding um paying for my business out of pocket because i started my business with my income tax and my savings so finding like grants um business credit you know to you know have someone else fund my business basically so that's one um i would say taking it seriously like putting my all into it just like I did when I was working for someone else. Like, um, like I said, I gave my job five years of my life <laughs> and I've been in my business, what, since March of 2021. And I was honestly thinking about just saying, forget this and giving up on my business. Um, so that's two. Um, the third thing is, let me think. Hmm. I guess putting the work in like being consistent learning always learning and finding ways to upgrade or be more successful uh, because honestly like even though my business is still going I feel that like I have not put in all the work that I should have or I could have in the time that I've had my business as far as and also gaining more knowledge um, and also like marketing myself, marketing, that's another one and promoting my business. So yeah, I guess those are the three things. That's those three good things. Yeah. Now what's three things you learn since you started your business? Um, I've learned a lot. Uh, let me think. I would say I've learned that like the, been having a business is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Like working for someone, that's not like, you know, you can't work for someone. It's okay to work from someone. That's fine. That's cool. But to do that for the rest of your life, um, no, that's not something that I want to do. And I feel like that's not something that 
anyone should do unless they're working in, you know, a certain field. But um, that's one. Another thing is um, being like motivated, self-motivated um, and taking taking my business serious. Like I said, I guess kind of like, kind of like the same thing that I just said, um, taking my business serious. Like I said, I gave my job five years and I was ready to get up, give up on my business in less than two years. So what are three principles that like three principles that you want to make sure that your business always up uphold um consistency um timely always on time i've never been late to a delivery or a pickup um communication is also a big thing um in this business so time management communication and consistency yeah those are big things dealing with my business those, those three good things so great things i would say and can you tell the audience where they can find you at that they want to get in touch with you uh yes you can reach me on Facebook. Uh, my name is Michael Jones. I also have a Facebook page for my business. It's Queen Express Logistics. Um, you can reach me there um, on Instagram. It's uh, Queen Michael or at Queen Michael, which is M I C K E L L. Well, Michael, thank you for allowing me to interview you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And I hope you have a great night. Thank you. You too.